How's everybody doing? Did a few live streams over this past week. Just 9-11 uh, just passed. That's been an important subject for me over time. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I said in a video the other day, I wasn't really feeling much like making the video. I wasn't really feeling it. Momentum's been down. The more like the gym, the more I miss the gym or a workout, the more the momentum says, hey, you'll get it, you'll get it lined up tomorrow. Many people don't even get that far. But when it's not getting done, it's just not getting done. Whether it's my perspective or, or the perspective of not even considering it, I'm always like, man, I'll just do it a couple more days. I'll get prepared. I'll eat the right food. You know, get really, you got to get all the little things lined up, you know. House organized, clothes lined up for the next couple of days, making sure everything's just ready to go. It makes your day a little bit more busy. Everything else and the day gets a little bit tighter when you focus on organizing some exercise in there. That's part of the immediate discipline though that, that comes into it and benefit is um, immediately thinking about, okay, how am I gonna schedule in a workout, the first workout or on a regular basis? That's the first win, that's actually, that's a benefit right there. You, know, you just got your mind focused on something that's going to be beneficial for you that doesn't fall into the immediate um, gratification category. It's, although it comes fast enough in days, weeks, months. Um, so. But there's always been a bunch of topics on my mind and I'm making this video still on a day where I don't really feel like doing too much, but uh, it's important to get something going to build a little bit of momentum. I was just thinking earlier today, and maybe some of that mental, the mental part of it is just not even feeling confident to go into the next workout because you haven't crushed, you know, three or four workouts already in the past couple of days, past this past week. That alone, whether or not the body is in good shape or capable for a good workout, just that mental blockage, um, where it could start could start and end right there because might not even go you know so anyways I'm doing that and I'm looking forward to building more of a home gym I still enjoy going to the gym lately very much more so without uh, take ever taking any video like I got in the habit of doing for a while which is still good, but it's really just the atmosphere of all the other people. It wouldn't really bother me too much extra to just grab a video, but it actually brings a lot of the stress down in the gym when I'm not worried about offending somebody else with putting up a video, because I get it. If anybody else doesn't want to be in there or if they're completely offended or just annoyed, whatever the reason is. So avoiding all that by not worrying about getting the video in there has been nice and then I just I went I took headphones out for a little over a year at the gym put them back in now I'm just chilling exercising and listening to my own music on blast again in there not worried about any video or really you know just being polite to everybody that's around me in there not really worrying about anything but enjoying a good workout I've, I've been really appreciating that but overall I think the goal right now what I'm thinking is get more weights set up here at home just basic stuff and then I can get a good picture of every exercise um, here at home. Do some, um, uh, you know, we'll film some of the workouts for maybe some YouTube videos or live stuff. We'll see. That's the plan, though. But just checking in. So let's keep these rolling uh, this week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. books judas crucified will be out sometime near when this video posts because i'm uploading them both kind of at the same time 
And then what else am I working on? Iron John and then this book called Nuclear War by Annie Jacobson. So it'll be pretty interesting. Nuclear War, a scenario. I'm going to just power through that one here pretty soon. And uh, go back into the library a little bit more hardcore. Go back into lifting the weights a little bit more hardcore. It gets exciting, you know, so. Doing it consistently is one thing, but definitely have some cons an excitement to get it going. Um, it's fun when it's fun. You know, it can, it can be fun. I'm always returning to it thinking, I'm going to make this fun. You know, this is going to be a great time putting some muscle back on and some strength back on again right now hopefully the uh, routine sticks for a more consistent longer than six months um type of a deal so and i've been getting some good muscle just lifting even lighter weight in there eating a couple not not such high calorie couple meals not lifting so crazy even that is exciting because i get immediate results out of that too i, I really like that fat start burning excuse me fat right away muscles start swelling up feeling good during the day posture gets better mental attitude is way better it's great for mental health so yeah that's uh that's about it for today keep it short i'm looking forward to doing more short videos like this and we'll keep to just a couple of long ones longer ones outside of this uh, monday wednesday friday schedule so we can get a uh yeah short and sweet message set up all right you guys thanks for watching like the video if you like it share it with someone you think it will help hit subscribe uh to stick around get more notifications to see um, other things that are going on with the channel get the channel suggested to yourself more often if you're a subscriber or almost to a thousand subscriptions too you'll get more options to grow the channel a little bit better uh at that point looking forward to it so hope you guys can find your way to do the same. Hit me up if you want help. Start doing some exercises. Start eating healthier. Practice some, um, you know, just invest in your, own, in your own mental health, especially if you're in any position of the battle for custody and visitation to family court. That sucks, you know. This is definitely the biggest help that I ever got. Me through that and still gets me through it today. Hit me up if you need help. See you guys on the next one.